Even though Julian Buslin is an LSU graduate student working with LSU Axe and entomologist, he conducts most of his research in Texas. Buslin is studying the Mexican rice borer, an insect that is under quarantine but has been making its way through the Lone Star State over the past 30 years. Late last year, the pest was found in traps around the town of Vinton, Louisiana. From the previous studies, it's been reported that the, the insect moved about uh, 15 miles a year uh, towards Louisiana, so it was expected in Louisiana around 2008. Buslin has been monitoring the pest for two years and studying its biology. The borer is difficult to control because it protects itself from pesticides and natural enemies in the stem or stalk of plants. It disrupts the nutrient uptake from the roots to the leaves, and so the, the nutrients that are taken from the soil actually cannot make it to the leaves and uh, it decreases yields. The Mexican rice borer could be a bigger problem for Louisiana's sugarcane industry than the rice industry. Yield losses in sugarcane also result from direct feeding within stems, which are harvested for sugar production. Insecticides control the pest better in rice because it is a smaller plant. Rice growers also have resistant varieties they can grow. Sugarcane breeders are looking at developing resistant varieties. The insect targets plants that are stressed, so good crop management could reduce the chance of an infestation. It's much more severe on a sugar cane that has, been, uh, has not gotten an adequate amount of fertilizer or has not been managed appropriately, or that sugar cane may be under drought conditions that hadn't been enough uh, water for the crop. The pest is still 15 to 20 miles away from the state's nearest sugar cane field, but could make it to one within the next year. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.